for RTG. And today is Friday, 6 p.m. content. It's a load of packs. And of course, we're going to go. We're on a li little talk with you lot at the end as well for, well, about our for fantasy upgrades. I'm not going to spoil anything, but we did pack two new cards today from hitting level 20 rewards thanks to the 2500 XP in the objective card of Adley. You're going to watch us unlock cards, pack cards, collect packs, open packs, craft packs, everything. And of course, I hope you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And to start off today, I crafted 20 player picks yesterday for Friday as a little, what do you want to call it? Just safe packs if you want to. I had enough in the club and I knew the 83 player picks weren't coming back. So, of course, I sent everything into these player picks. And if you can see me pick them slowly, I'm sorry, I was messaging my thumbnail designer to uh as he was asking me what i wanted so let's just cut me a bit of slack on that and we will of course just open the player picks and i can't lie these were not as good these are not going as good as i expected them to we didn't obviously the new david janola has come out and we are going to do him it may be stupid it might not be but, I don't know, I want Janola, so, to be honest, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do him. Because at the end of the day, I'm playing on the account. I want Janola, I'll do Janola. I'm very, very close to one of the 89 rated squads. I have submitted a 86 and an 87 squad, just from the fodder that I have. Because I prefer just to rinse my club, then kind of pack it all back instead of just packing one duplicate because I have, I don't know, one 88 Renard and then the rest are all 83s in my club and then I go and pack Renard and then it's annoying because I just have to waste an 88 in the exchange which just isn't worth it personally because as you can see the player picks aren't paying out as much as you'd hope. As, I mean I've got a Casemiro, I've got an inform but other than that it is shocking. So I do not recommend doing these. We take Rongier there, obviously because we packed Joel Linton earlier. But we do pack two informs and a walkout of Casemiro. So we went and crafted 12 more just to test our luck. Obviously using the daily gold upgrades as well to stock the club back up and put more cards in for us to obviously pack. But these, the, the second phase of player picks was horrendous. This is not what you want, as they would say. Do not do this and stay away. It's kind of like a disease, player picks. They just they lure you in and then you just get trapped and you can't stop doing them. It's, it's bad. I don't like it. But we always have to do stuff for the content for you guys watching at home, for the folks at home, as people say. But obviously, like I'm saying, these ones are not it. As you can see, literally 81s, 2s and 3s. Not a singular walkout or an 85 plus in these. The first round, I kind of appreciate a bit more now, seeing how this second round went. As we are now coming to the end of the player picks, Orban as the penultimate. And in the final player pick, we will get ourselves a Marco Asensio. And we're actually going to move on to two more player picks. This is from opening the last two daily gold upgrades. And I just wanted to send anything for fodder for Shinola. And as you can see, never doing them again. So we're going to move on to an 83 times 10 Using the informs we packed in the player picks. I think here we've crafted two of the three. I'm not sure. Well, we're opening one here. We're going to grab a French centre-back. And we were talking about her earlier. And now we pack her here now. In Wesley... Is it Wesley Renard? Wendy Renard? I think it's Wendy. Maybe we just call her Renard. We don't want to offend. 
but second 83 times 10 and it is a stinker one an 84 rated Lobotka and yeah that is horrendous but I'm lured in I'm trapped so I go and do the third one using an 87 inform in this one that's how de devoted I am to the content and packing something nice we grab a French centre back it's Renard yet again I, I kind of just predicted it earlier didn't I said about a duplicate Renard and now we get a duplicate Renard so we go and complete a squad of Janola with her but I didn't show you that because to be fair there's 16 more to go but you will watch us claim Adley that's like a very nice card and obviously all the packs and XP that came with him we got our daily play and our daily play completion for day one and then season progress of an 84 times 4 for level 19 and for level 20 we went for the 87 times 4 spice it up a bit higher rated fodder for of course the man of Janola. 11 packs for us to crack open for the video I'm sorry for no gameplay but I do prefer on Fridays to just open loads of packs for Saturday's video just just feels a lot nicer and a lot easier to do if I'm being honest and um, we're just going to discard the load of rubbish that we don't need I don't really want orange and black flags just sitting in my club it's just really pointless but we're getting the, the gold packs out of the way the, the non-numbered packs as we pack in Kunku actually don't really pack him that often on this game but do not worry he's already gone into Janola into one of the squads so do not worry about that as you can see we got a lot of nice packs here but a 75 times 5 is going to leave us with a Callum Wilson and nothing more than that in that one to Remy as well but it's just 82s are pointless in the game and now we're going to open our 381 times 2s a German centre back by the name of Ginter will come out next for us and he is tradable so he goes on the trade pile and we move on with our packs for the second 81 times 2 a Swedish left mid and it's going to be even lower rated than Ginter with Jakobsen 82 from Kansas City women's and now the final 81 times 2 can he redeem themselves with a Jordan Pickford I can tell you now no they cannot and we will be saying goodbye to them as high rated uh, high rated mid range fodder for us but 82 times 2 now gets us something actually nicer than the 81 doubles in an Emmy Martinez so we appreciate that and this pack will uh, won't be in the bad books for now but an 83 triple a German goalkeeper it's not going to be Neuer, it is going to be Fromm's 85 rated with a couple Spaniards behind her as well. Now we move on to an 84 plus. A French CDM, it is going to be Angolo, Angolo, Kante. Oh, see, the, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about these packs. They've not been as high rated as I expected, but I'm kind of desperate for high rated. To do Janola as we pack again another Angolo Kante but double this time can we see 89 plus 88 plus it's going to be Irene Paredes 88 and we take that firmly and we're going to go do something with Kante he went into Janola as well as you can see we claim him back and we have two more packs left we put oh no he went into an exchange my bad and um, we're gonna pack my best mate because I pack him every day dear and now the 87 times four what we've been waiting for and we are gonna crack it open and we get zero blues but we get Renard for the third time today and Ter Stegen which isn't what we want. And we pack Matson and Mia Dima. 
That is lovely. Thank you. You very much. Very happy to grab that as now we are going to open this player pick just for a bit of fun. And was hoping for a 93 cane to put into Shinola if I'm being honest. But we go and get ourselves Ice, Musa, Diaby or Ice Richarlison. We are going to end up taking Musa Diaby and he's very low rated and that is not ideal for the price. Bit of an L in that player pick. So to end off the video we are going to quickly just update and talk on our foot fantasy cards obviously on their real life upgrades we'll start with i'm not even going to try to pronounce his name great card in game and of course plays for stuttgart and just written and looked at games for all the teams so stuttgart obviously they haven't played yet i'm not entirely sure why just probably an awkward time i'm guessing I think they played on like the 24th and he's eligible from the 26th, which means he's going to play this weekend. But they have Wolfsburg, Union Berlin, Hoffenheim and Heidenheim as well. I think Fuchrich plays a little bit. Uh, I can definitely see them winning at least two or three of the games. Hopefully he can play. I don't see them scoring 11, but if he plays, I do see him getting a goal or an assist. So I think a 90 rated card is what we're going to see from this man right here. And then we move to our Delict, who has played one game out of the two because he was suspended in today's game. So Bayern have four goals and only one win. And they have, and obviously Delict has one appearance. But their next two games are, of course, the two teams bottom of the table so I do see Delict getting three upgrades for definite but the 11 goals I'm not too sure about as of course they have to score around seven goals but it's relegation team so hopefully Harry Kane can of course farm his way through that one and we're then going to move on to Arsenal women's for these two Mia Dima and Alex Scott We'll see, Mia Dima starts from, obviously, today, March 1st. They, obviously, no games have been played yet. They have Spurs, Chelsea, Aston Villa and Bristol. Bristol are bottom, Chelsea are top. So, I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but Mia Dima, unfortunately, did get injured yesterday, as, obviously, has been found out by everyone. So, Mia Dima's upgrades will only be limited to... Her club, which is two games, one and 11 goals, which to be fair, women's games are quite high scoring. Every time I look, there's normally a game with four, five, six goals. So hopefully Arsenal can pull through and get my upgrades for Mia Dima and Alex Scott. And now on to our freshly pack pulled Ian Matson. What a player. I love Matson. Obviously on loan from Chelsea. Uh, he is yet to play, of course, as he has come out today. He will play Berlin, Werder Bremen, Frankfurt and Bayern. I see the clean sheet, the wins and the appearances, not the goals. So I expect or predict a 90 rated Ian Matson. He plays. He's played every game that he's been there so far, whether he's been subbed on or started. So hopefully he... Again, keeps his form and actually stays playing. And we move on to Aracunia for Sevilla. They have a 1-0 loss to their name against Real Madrid. And Acuna is, of course, injured. So Real Sociedad, Almeria, Celta Vigo are the teams that they will play. So hopefully they can pull through two wins. And honestly, I think that is going to be it. I do not expect anything else. I expect a 90 rated Acuna. And to be honest, that is my prediction as just a 90 rated Acuna. Now, moving on to Politano, I expect a definite plus four from this man. A 6-1 win and a 1-1 draw. He has got his assist in the 6-1 win. So that is obviously seven goals in two games. 
only playing two, of course. So four goals in two games is needed. And that is against Juventus and Torino. I do expect all they have to do is two goals per game. I'm pretty sure they can manage that. So this man is looking like a plus four as he's already played two of the two games as well. What a card he is in game as well. So hopefully a plus four coming to Politano. And now we move on to the other side of Italy. Kalinoglu. Of course, this man is injured, which is gutting, considering that he normally plays every game. He is kind of their star man. But two 4-0 wins for Inter puts them at eight goals in two games, meaning they only need three goals, I believe, if my maths is correct. Three goals, yes. They have Genoa, Bologna to play. And, like I said, three goals in two games. We're definitely going to get the two wins and hopefully the 11 goals. So a 90 rated Kananoglu and he's already cracked in game. So I am taking that heavily. And now penultimate is Julie. Of course, he is being represented by Monaco and Monaco have a 3-2 win, which was on the 25th of Feb. So I'm not sure if it counts. Because I think they played and ended the game before 6 o'clock when Julie come out. But if it does count, very, very nice for us. And a 0-0 draw against PSG, which only puts them at three goals in two games. So the 11 goals is pretty much out of the window. However, Strasbourg and Lorient are who they are yet to play. One win from one of those two games will secure us a... 91 rated Julie, which to be fair I do expect to happen which is very very nice and this card personally is already cracked for me in game uh, it's just just a great player in my opinion and finally moving on to the last card that I own the objective card of course is Amin Adli plays for Leverkusen top of the table unbeaten this season 32 games unbeaten, haven't lost since May last year. Of course, I expect a full plus four for this man. He only has two goals and assists this season, which isn't ideal, but he does play in quite a few games alongside Boniface. So hopefully he should either replace Boniface or come on next to him. Or start next to him. Anything like that. So I do expect him to get the three appearances. I expect the two wins. Almost 100%. Xavi Alonso is cooking this season with this team. Goal and assist. Not too sure. Like I said. Two goals and assist this season is not ideal at all. But hopefully this man can pull through with just one. One minute of magic. And the 11 goals. With them having to face. Kolrun. Kolrun. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Wolfsburg, Freiburg and Hoffenheim. So I do genuinely expect 11 goals from this team. They are one of the top scorers in, in uh, the Bundesliga. And overall, a 91 rated card. He could become very, very cracked. He is quite nice as it is. So maybe this man is something that we do see in people's teams if he does get fully upgraded. However, the play style was a bit of an L for the striker but like i said that'll wrap up today's video hope you all enjoy thank you for watching a subscription and a like would be very much appreciated i got over 600 views on one of my videos a couple of days ago and just like i said it means a lot and getting that many views is definitely out of my realm and something new for me so thank you all and i'll see you tomorrow for another episode